training. Okay, we're working on this stuff for now. Because whenever I level up, he levels up as well. We are gonna invest more into discipline, because that's basically what allows us to um, resist attempts to disarm us and shit. And of course, persuasion, we are the, 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 the face character, we don't really have a choice here. And I think I'm gonna continue with lore. There's some other options and skills like parry, for example, in this one, which sounds nice and all of that, but is honestly kinda useless. Same with taunt. Set trap is potentially really overpowered. It was in Baldur's Gate, I remember that much. You could do some horrible things with traps. Um, I don't even want to remember that. Riding is something that wasn't originally in Neverwinter Nights. They basically took out the ability to ride, they added it re uh, back in with the Enhanced Edition. And it is uh, the, the buggy mess as it always was gonna be. Our Paladins do get the riding because we can summon a, a, a mount as a Paladin. Or so D&D says, at least. From... I don't know which level it was, but at some level you get the ability to summon a... Celestial Steed or something. Yeah, same. No, if I have a choice between Persuasion and Intimidation, I always go for uh, Persuasion because uh, not shield. I just took because I had no options. But the point that interested me, I kind of wanted to spend my points, and now I have Create Undead. Mm, nice. Okay, so let's see. Um, the Blackguard abilities. Create Undead. Gosh, we can now summon another minion. Now, as for Deacon, you should be a rogue level 2 now, and that also means you should have. Death, concentration, drift armor, discipline, height 9, intimidate 5, fucking useless for you. Listen 4, move silently 5. Don't you have. Open lock? Lock picking, I suppose, would be the more. Don't, 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 don't. Don't rogues get that? You should have the ability. I'm confused. Maybe it's just not displayed the right way again, and I'm just uh, seeing it. Not saying that isn't an option. Okay, so now that we did that, um, how precisely does one get upstairs? Okay, apparently like that. To previous floor, to previous floor, to previous floor, okay. To next floor. To next floor, okay, okay, I can... Is something. Good things, mind you. Time for some exploration. We might actually contest com comes down a bit to what we're gonna meet, uh, enemy wise. Can you just open the door? Yes, you can. Uh, we might actually be able to get to max level, which would be nice. Ah, skeletal devourers. I still remember in the original campaign when you. Uh, to collect and intellect the Valra as well. Some adventurers lying around, they didn't get far. Actually, I do wonder, how did they get this far to begin with? Meh. I guess it never outright explicitly said that um, the ruins of this particular city were not Landed. Oh, I should kill you first, shouldn't I? Also, there's an altar there. What can I do with that? I wonder. Also, equipment is going to be a real problem. And very soon I did. For two reasons, mind you. A, um, without having any um, any merchants around, will always be somewhat uh, fucked because we can't actually sell any. 
And on the other side, of course, they will continue with this whole nasty spiel of having uh, rusted stuff just randomly thrown in. A bloodied altar. I can put something on there. Let's see. Hmm. So we technically speaking don't know yet is what the game is trying to tell me. Okay, we can't go here, and then we go here. It is still a pretty damn fun game, I have to say. Actually, if you're a skeletal devourer, would you be um, vulnerable to my... Yes, you are. Okay, I can't outright kill you with it, but I can use my turn undead to make you run away. I see now, negative energy attacks against a person who has spent most of their life being a paladin. Yeah, you're gonna have a hard time doing anything to me. I guess that does make sense. In, in a way, um, not just based off of, of just uh, abilities and shit, Paladins are kinda overpowered. Because they will always have abilities that, you know, protect them from evil and um, help them against... Uh, and help them against uh, any evil aligned character. Which of course means, since most campaigns that you will ever engage in will feature the enemy side as the evil side, uh, kinda start not on from a good point there, I'd say. Look at that. Like, Look, we're doing evil energy attacks on you, and I'm sitting there like, um, yes, or what? You think that, um, that will stop me? But oh boy, I do have some bad news for you. Really, some really, really bad news. Hmm. Amusing, though. I didn't really think that we would be sitting here today and playing Neverwinter Nights, but uh, well, I'm not complaining at all, actually. In fact, I would go so far as to say this is a rather nice little thing, isn't it? Also, these things are actually worth some XP points. You know. It's just 30, but it's better than fucking 5. Channel no complaints from my side. There you know. But still be better. They do have a lot of hit points though, I have to admit, that's uh, a bit annoying. Just a tiny bit though. Stop resisting and just die. I think the divine damage is rather nice here. I'll have to say. <laughs> and one more. For good measure. Ah, Deacon. He's, um, he's pretty good at us all keeping the back. To be fair, he's heavily uh, encumbered, so it's it's not like I don't get to why he would, uh, you know, maybe potentially be a bit more on the uh, low side. And again, you know, that's kind of his job, you know, he's my sidekick. Somebody has to carry all that equipment. And sadly, uh, it's probably not gonna be me. Bloody Delta. I still don't really know what I'm supposed to be putting on that or engage with. Oh, another group of those. Well then, uh, let's just uh, now politely wait while we're gonna sit here for the next like five minutes slaughtering a little skeletal devourers. See, it's not like they can't do any damage, they do damage to Deacon. But they absolutely cannot do any fucking damage whatsoever to us. Get, get a bit closer in there. Two damage. Yeah, it's not bad, you know, give me an opportunity to light the pipe a few times. Maybe you prepare the next one. Oh, so, well, no complaints from my side. Ah, 
da 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 You know, Deacon, you could go for an attack once in a while. I mean, you're dazed right now, but uh, in more general terms, you know. Okay, all is done well in the world. And I'm assuming I need to, yeah. We need to find all the endeavors. Mm. Already kind of a saw that. Because I was pretty sure that you can't just um, use any one of the doors. You basically have to go through the whole of the area. Tentacle demon. Now oh, that sounds not good. Jesus, game, when did you turn into a fucking anti? Okay, now my little lady here has some nice pointy tits, and I'm sure that's gonna make for an interesting classical image of, you know, the female knight getting violated violently by tentacles. But... Do we really have to go that way? Your foyer is weak, bitch. Yeah, that, that's ignore the tentacle demon, you know, this... This is probably gonna get me into trouble with Twitch, so I rather avoid it. Just, you know, ignore it. Deacon, follow me, please. Ignore the tentacle demon. It can't hurt you if you don't acknowledge this, you know. It's all in your mind. I kind of forgot about that, though. <laughs> that was nice looking look, look to go like, why, game? Why? Again, I guess they didn't really think much about it. I'm pretty sure the developers weren't uh, probably too familiar with that particular set of uh, Japanese uh, cultural goods. Let's say, carefully. Let's say, you know, you know, but, uh, that, that sort of amusement that you can get from that is uh, without uh, without value. But I don't think they intended it as such. Maybe. Or maybe somebody was really into the whole entire thing and was like, <laughs> somebody decades later will look at this and go like, hmm, I find this person was rather amusing. Maybe. We don't know. Okay, let's see. This is probably where the lever is gonna be down south. Or maybe actually there, but it doesn't really matter which way I go, does it now? Well, I guess we can just go both ways and get all of the exploration done. So far, though, I'm not too happy about this floor in particular, I mean, you know, having to deal with the armies of skeletal devourers over and over again. It's cute, once, twice, maybe even a third time, but you know, after that you, you, you kind of probably like to go back to slaying some, some medusas. But you know, actual slaying. Not taking to bed slaying. Highly unadvisable. Da, 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 da. Yes, continue attacking me. Continue using your dark and evil energies on me. I am not impressed in the very slightest. That one's from, from a character that doesn't even use the um, the better protective gear because if you wear the, the proper paladin gear or gear that is clearly meant to be worn by holy warriors, you can probably get even more resistance to this shit. Enough. I can get away with basically getting a pretty often hit by that without actually taking any damage. Then imagine if you were actually still a paladin. I'd be going through here, you'd be cutting through this area like a fucking knife through butter, basically. Always checking the doors, you know, and you never know, there, there might be stuff there. It's a locked door. Ah, horrible. But nothing on the other side. That's just mean, you know, you could at least put a corpse there for me to open up and then be disappointed by because it's gonna have some rusted shit on it. Oh god, are you gonna have a riddle with the levers? No, probably not. Uh, 
That's the south level, we activated it. That's the east level, we're gonna activate this. And the other trees. I swear to god, if they make this into a riddle, where you have to put them into a... Where you have to open them in a specific order. It's really how annoying it is to walk around here. I'm, I might be somewhat left. I'm not gonna try to bit though. All in moderation and all of that good nonsense, but still, there is a point to be made here. Bam. Now, my main problem is that I actually don't remember how many uh, floors there actually are. I think there are at least a few more floors we have to climb up before we get to the top and deal with the Master Snake Lady as well. Yes. Spell casting in melee. That's a good idea, isn't it? Whoosh. Two levers activated. Two more to go. Just two more. And since we went there, that was the thousand one. Can a damage your target with that? Okay, so. No way through there. I see game. Fucking fine. We'll not even try. We go the other side again. And then we have to once again avoid the tentacle demons' fiery uh, excrements. Which I assume they are. Then we go to the next side. And then we only have one side left. We're making good progress here. Hello, Tentacle Demon. Please don't rape me. I'm innocent. Also, since I can't attack you, I can't even, you know, show you the folly of your ways. I really, really, really would like to do. Oh, that seems annoying as fuck, doesn't it? Hello, Skeletal Devourers. Your existence will now come to a rather painful and direct end. And then, hmm. I guess we could. I mean, technically speaking, Deacon can heal himself. Technically speaking, I don't know if he will practically heal himself. We should keep an eye on his health. Basically, because it's annoying. Because then I would have to heal him, then I would have to kill him, that he rejoins the party again, and then I would have to heal him again. Meh. I cannot, cannot talk about that. And you know, just in case you're wondering, doesn't that seem kind of broken? Yes. Yes it is. And kind of broken. That should not be how that works. But you know, this with the uh, should, would, could potentially it, uh, it, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't do it. Yes. Sadness, yes, but sadness um, in this case unavoidable. More devourers. I do think, at the very least, that with the last character I went through here, and of course, to be fair, that has been years ago, but I'm pretty sure I had more problems with these little fuckers. So, I guess either I was underleveled, which could be, mind you. I'm pretty sure the last time I actually went for a really, really short playthrough. I don't know why. Normally, I'm not the kind of guy who skips on um, side quests and things. Especially in an RPG. If you're playing an RPG without doing the whole uh, side contents, then. Why the fuck are you even here? Basically. But I do kind of I remember coming up here and being somewhat uh, miffed, basically, by the uh, difficulties I had. I don't remember which class I was, though. It might actually have been the one time I tried playing a ranger. And for some reason, neither Baldur's Gate nor Neverwinter Nights actually managed to do a to the ranger class decently, basically. 
which might have been the reason why I was feeling somewhat miffed here. Maybe. Could also be that it was the, um, the barbarian I played once. Maybe. I don't know what I was thinking about that. And it's, it's not like I'm against melee classes, but there are usually things that interest me more than the barbarian. I don't really see the appeal of the uh, no. wild man. I mean, no. Not in the barbarian lights. In, in, in movie form, I, I can get behind that. What is the character I play? No, no not, 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 not necessarily. Oh, can advance. I'm sure there are enough people who can have a, a lot of fun with that as well. I leave that up to them. Ding, ding. Yes, continue to use your evil magics on me. See how much I care about your evil magic. Deacon, however, cares very much because Deacon actually gets a nice amount of damage out of that. It's like, oh, Maestress, please! Down the band, Deacon! With these evil, shitty things. I should at least go through the door so I don't get locked out again. Dee, 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 dee. I wonder what the next level will hold for us. Because yeah, actually, I'm drawing a blank here. My mind does not tell me anything uh, about that in any way, shape, or form. It's like, are you are, are you certain? Yes, I am very certain. I have no fucking clue. But at least we about it. And of course, you know, while I was looking up how to use the uh, portable door, I uh, deliberately didn't click on the next page to see what's up there. I could have done, and maybe potentially we could have saved ourselves some trouble, but that's the fun in that, you know? I've always been a fan of being at least honest, you know? When you look something up, at least be honest about it, don't pretend. No reason for her to do the whole pretender thing. Just, you know. Be honest, you'll be going like that. No, that's annoying, I'm gonna look it up. Meh. Just one more, and then we have. Three out of four levers levered. Yes, the kid. Scream! I wonder actually, does ex is there a way? That's actually something I might want to look up. Is there a way to kill the tentacle demon? Just, you know, just, just for funsies. I would rather like to know. Seems like a fitting bit of revenge, you know. This is for all the poor little wifes you have violated in times past, tentacle demon. Ah, you shall suffer my blade. Yeah, the moment your character has in a very, very strange out of body, out of world experience, goes like tentacle demons. Disgusting. Hello again, tentacle demon. Bye bye, tentacle demon. Yeah, you, you try putting me on fire. I'm sure that's gonna stop me. Maybe it has something to do with the bloodied altars. I really don't fucking remember. Mayhaps, mayhaps. Mayhaps I'll look it up. Mayhaps if the um, next floor opens up, we just gotta fucking ignore the tentacle demon and go like what? No, you, you can't do anything to us anyway, so um, bye bye. See you never. Literally, in this particular case. I guess that actually would be a rather good resolution. I mean, you don't have to fight every last singular enemy in the world. Especially ones that are, you know, not really likely to follow you. <laughs> For good reason. Don't fight with them if you don't need to. Even if there are evil tentacle demons. Yes, yes, even then. Who knows, maybe he's the one, uh, the only one lonely little tentacle demon that actually never has done anything wrong, you know. Maybe. We don't know. We don't know his backstory. We just, you know, basically profile him on uh, the basis of his species and what they have a tendency to do. Not the nicest thing to do, but... It's kind of workable, you know? Yes, I would, would you really want to take the risk? I wouldn't. <laughs> Most definitely not. So if technically so much as moves in my direct vicinity, I would be like, hmm, yes, fire is always a good solution, isn't it? What do you think twice about it? Go 
because you know I would rather like to keep my whole Zaza uh, unmolested for pretty obvious reasons. Yeah, he does. Kill a child if I run. I think even our paladin is getting uh, rather sick of them because uh, so it feels like she's getting ever quicker at killing them. <laughs> it's like, okay, this is skeleton devourer number 208. I'm tired of you now. Especially because you really, really suck at, at fucking doing damage. And we're gonna continuously check the remains, you know, mayhaps we'll find something nice, although... Yes, uh, indeed. Yes, speaking doom 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 as it is. Well, to be fair, it's not you that is doomed, rather our enemies in this particular case. What's with all the bloody deltas? I, I really don't know. Maybe they're just, you know, there for show. Maybe there's actually a point to them. That would be, maybe, oh shit. I have a large number of fucking enemies. Yeah, sure. Cast like 10 fucking spells at me. I'm still, gonna, I'm still just gonna stand there and go like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> That's what you get for that. If you had this rather satisfying, you know, being that uh, overpowered. In a way. But technically speaking, we shouldn't even be that overpowered. We were at the beginning of the game, we, because we did kind of did the special thing. Um, we are supposed to basically start a new character for Unwind Tide, and we kind of did um, a bit of a continuation of the story of our original campaign character. So yeah, in the beginning we indeed were, were overpowered as fuck. But at this point, um, the end of the game, you should be um, somewhat close to uh, the, the max level, so we shouldn't, technically level-wise, we shouldn't be that overpowered. Hmm. For some reason, the game is still like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's the whole thing that leads me to the conclusion that probably this has more to do with the... Um, Abilities, resistances, and everything else you gain through this class, that kinda helps along here. That is far, far more likely the, the case in my understanding. Um, are you not gonna uh, attack anymore? Do you know? Guess what? As long as they're around you, you would. Listen, I was kinda busy uh, making my... preparing the next pipe. I thought I'd take the good opportunity here. Come on, don't stop attacking. Badly wounded, badly wounded, near death, and death. That's enough. I want to have a victory pipe prepared, just uh, in case we actually do get through here. And I still have some hopes for that. We're all dead in the build with shurikens. I don't know. I never personally liked um, throwing weapons. Not my 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 most beloved. Yep. I guess the tentacle demon gets slith because I have no idea how to fucking kill that thing. Make a safe game, also very important. <sighs> Itch, I rodish. A bitch that turned me into challenge rating impossible. Oh, that's a nice game. Yeah, sure. Give me a good feeling about myself. Tell me how much I've grown since my start of the game. Let's see. AC increased, attack increased, damage increased, charisma increased, intelligence increased, wisdom increased, damage reduction, and damage immunity increased, cold, damage immunity increased, electrical. Uh, immunity, critical hits, disease, negative level, ability decrease, mind spells, paralysis, poison, sneak attack, and true seeing. Man, the bitch is buffed up as hell. Well, to be fair, if I were a boss character in a uh, in a game, I had all of these cool buffing abilities at my fingertips. Uh, you can tell well be like at the very moment I hear like, okay, um, yeah, the, the, the hero seems to be getting rather close to you. Um, I'd be like, okay, give me like half an hour. I'm just gonna start casting now. 
complete overpowered. Hmm. Yeah, that does seem like we have reached the final, final, final boss. And um, I think you need to take out the missile of things. Oh shit! I don't remember this at all. We're gonna go in and just give it a uh, give it a try. And you can like it's the climax, the climax of epic tales upon our mistress, Osha. We will rest. No resting allowed in this area. That I've told me that before and came. The fucking house on and you close the door behind me too. <laughs> okay, uh, that was a never. We did quick save, so um, shit we quick saved up here, didn't we? Bulls strength, endurance, bug skin, eight, bless. Attack! And she comes running towards me. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you know, the, the people of Nazareth also thought themselves so far above everybody else. And what happened when they actually made that physical? Oh, right. They got so fucking high on their own fucking gases. They managed to remove, even just for a brief second, all magic from the world, making their own fucking cities crash. Yeah, that's a great story. Oh, that means you have lost your gaze that turns men to stone. <laughs> oh yes, that is a loss. Because that is actually an ability I couldn't deal with. Yeah, I already got all the information I need. I'm not saying it hasn't, but I'm going to, uh, you know, enough to bitch. Tessa, quickly, uh, for our conversation. Don't it hold your attention as I once did. You never hold held my attention, bitch. Um, let us walk together to conquer the world. Should be large enough for two to share. Um, I came to kill you, not to banter. Let us bear for old time's sake. And on top of this city, as it flies. This time I will turn. Fucking stop that! Could you get your tongue out of your ass and for once speak like a proper being, snake lady? Weapon ineffective. Yeah, I kind of figured as much. I'm pretty sure you need to destroy the missile. Huh? I think to the fire. I'm just gonna go from one missile to the next. Actually, how did the fuck did you get that many of them? I guess technically speaking, they would probably be in the city, I assume. Yes, I'm still thinking to the fire. Don't worry, once I'm back at you, uh, you will fucking suffer for what you did. Deacon just he takes it like the champ. He he takes all the damage. He, he tanks the enemy for us. Deacon, what a what a great uh, uh, hero, I guess. No, co cobalt hero. But, but so what? Not really, no, I just enjoy destroying missiles. Because you like them. Hi, hmm. Rhodes. You are nothing in front of my blade. Now, oh, face death. <laughs> I do like that, but then the hero goes like, yeah, we did it. Woo! Still celebrating. Still like, Woo! 
Now I'm gonna escape to the Shadow Place because I'm a smarty. It's like, yeah, let the city drop to the ground. I don't care. I'm in the Shadow Place. Relaxing with my Shadow Bros. The groaning city begins to lean in its flight like a wounded bird. Jesus, why is this so loud? The ground that marks the second fall of Undrantai is heard and felt throughout Faerun. Most folk will stop and wonder and never know how close you are to dominating them through the sheer power of the long buried past. Some, however, such as the Harpers, know well the part you played in Hyoradis' end. They mm -hmm. name you a hero, and throughout the realms, songs are sung of the sacrifices that you and Drogon made for them all. As for your own fate after escaping into the Plain of Shadow, it is unknown, even to the Harpers. Probably because I never liked the that The slave move. collar shattered on Ashtara's death, so you are free. Nice. Wherever your adventures lead you, however, one thing is certain. Your own tale is far from over. Yeah, we finished this actually a lot uh, faster than I was anticipating. How much longer do I have left for this day? At least three hours more. Yeah, we are definitely up for... Uh, I guess we're going to start with the Horch of uh, the Underdark, which is the next expansion pack. And um, I think that one is actually canonically still the same hero as the one that we just played with, so we this time don't even get the advantage of being uh, you know overpowered from the get-go. I think it also introduces... Um, well, basically heroic damage, because I think you can get up to level 40 in that one. I'm just gonna let for a moment the credits roll, you know. That's the advantage that later on when I'm editing this, I will of course kind of, uh, you know, aim for marking the beginning of the new campaign out. And so I'm just gonna very, very quickly now let this run for a bit. So I have a nice big blotch that I can just go look for and then make the cut there. Threatening little episode. Seems a bit nicer to do for YouTube, you know, instead of, you know, just continuing now and then going like, uh, putting the people right in the middle of it, basically. <coughs> okay, that should be more than enough. Yeah, let's take a bit further. Yep. Designers, art, mm, very important. National lead, mm-hmm. 